Well, wherever you are, you get to find out. Ringside, show of respect. And time for a fight. Into the open stand straight away. Well, Bagby changing her nice. tactics, doesn't wait. Comes straight at Williams. Adaptation already. Yeah, I like that, great. Giving Lauren something to think about. Good tactics from Bagby. Yeah, she's turned her strengths against her, but Lauren Williams produces the headshot straight away. Climbing up on the inside. I think that two point might be invalidated. Holding on the inside. Good refereeing from Nadis Tavares. Will she give a gam on as well? She most certainly will. So instead of 5 0, it should go to 3 1. Sharp eyed from the ref. Not as quick on the scoreboard, though. They want confirmation. I fully agree. Lauren Williams should be on three. Bagby on one. And the scoreboard operators not matching. The referee's right there. Yeah, the referees are calling it in. It's difficult, I think, for the, the centre referee to, to know exactly what score it should be sometimes. I know that they should know, but I can quite honestly believe that it's not that as easy as we believe it should be. No, I agree with that one. So, obviously, it was five points to three with the headshot from Williams. Two points were taken off, as they should have been from Williams. So, for me, it should be 3-1. Yeah, okay. one for the gam, John. Three for Williams, but it's business as usual. Straight out with the headshot from Williams, not wasting. Goes with the punch. Good response from Bagby. A fight already, and both women just pushing away here. Williams goes with a chop over the shoulder, and she means business. This is great. I love it. They're both fighting, though. Bagby is not letting Lauren have her own way. Very, very strong competitor. Yep, and showing that strength and showing that metal here down the stretch. Headshot over the shoulder from Williams again. Good double from Bagby. Well, we've seen all the gears from Williams and we've only had 30 seconds of this first round good back leg turning kick there from Bagby batters home against Williams 7-5 now from the fighter from the Côte d'Ivoire goes so again with the double close with the headshot there certainly making Lauren think and again Lauren's cover there was open for Bagby to take that back leg Bagby battering home that back leg, the timing, textbook, and it's a gam John for holding. Williams just getting a little bit caught up in this, has to calm down. So it's working well for Ruth Bagby, back kick round the corner. Williams missing with the headshot, but she'll get the gam John. I think Lauren needs to just have a couple of seconds rest, recompose. I'm not sure if that's in her mindset though, to ever do that, but it would be what's needed right now and she has done she's taken that little rest there yeah, close with the reverse summoned up the strength it's not a question of fitness it's as you say Sarah a question of patience but the punch straying upstairs Nadis Tavares well, she's going to give the gam joint Lauren Williams wanted the video replay her coach saying no thank you rightly so Bagby in the ascendancy five point gap 30 to go headshot over the shoulder and that one will it score or was it pulling that was Lauren's hand, which uh, pulled the head guard off. Well, it is 12-9. I think we're going to have to have a little conversation just to make sure that the head guard is in place. So Lauren Williams literally pulling herself back into this one. Good power from the Welsh fighter. Jabs forward. Bagby falls over in the act of the double. She'll take the two. She'll give up the one for falling. And it's a four-point game now. to the last 10 seconds now Great Britain's Lauren Wurrell tries a, a hook kick in the clinch manages it this time Nadis Tavares and she's not happy with it she's having the two points invalidated and Williams is going to have to change her tactics here that's now her her fourth gam John make that five so halfway through her allotment as we creep into the end of the first round the headshot from Williams Pulls herself back into a two-point deficit. 
breathless stuff, Sarah. Yeah, no matter how many, oh, I suppose, errors, if you can call it that, with Lauren's gamjung, she does get a lot of gamjungs, and I think that's just because she just wants to fight all the time, so she's obviously getting into a bit of a rook where she can grab or she can fall, and then eventually at the end she'll pull a headshot off like she did at the end. So it, she's just so exciting to watch. But again, for me, in a few years, maybe those Ganjungs that she's collated there, is it five five Ganjungs now? It is, yes. If she can not get the five Ganjungs now, you she's know, leading. she would be leading by... Yeah, she'd be a couple of points up. A couple up. of points and exactly the same in the semi-final as well. So something to work on, and I'm sure they're working on that in the gym already. Yep, lessons to be learned. But, but Bagby, though, yeah, she's... top class. Yeah, top class, um, that first round there. A completely different player from the semi-final. I think, you know, if you like to fight, then it is difficult to fight someone like she did in the semi-final. You know, Yelich didn't give her a fight and she wasn't able to pull out her best. Lauren's giving her a fight and she's looks like she's enjoying this as well. Yeah, but I agree with that assessment. Enjoying the lion's share of the points as well as Ruth Bagby. 15-13, a high-scoring final here. Lauren Williams goes forward, big push kick. Dex Bagby, and she's going to get the gam on, pulling it up. And it's getting ever closer here. Williams very much in the ascendancy now. Trying for another gam on, jumps with a little flicking Mam Hammer Cho style jump kick. Gam John for stepping and now, out. Yeah, and now it's Lauren in the lead by two points. It's a protest here by yep, the Ivory Coast Ivory coach. Coast. It's not easy to say at this time of night. Looking for the points to be invalidated for pushing and then kicking. But a finely balanced match here. Nedis Tavares will communicate now what they're looking for. I think for me the referee did well there. You've got to encourage continuous play. And for me they were both kind of in the mix trying to make something happen. Um, so yeah, I, I believe that you know she did the right thing. But again, when you slow it down a little bit, and someone else is going to view that. Well, we can have a view at it here, Sarah. There's a push and a shove to get Bagby out. Then the jump on the way through. Had the referee said stop? I mean, really, for me, that that was. I thought it was legitimate. Valid point. I yeah. think that was great. I think that was action. I think they're both trying to make something work. Yep, and Czech Salasisi, Olympic champion, trying to make his teammate work. Plenty of passion, and it is unsuccessful, as we said. Legitimate use there. And Williams showing that adaptation, doesn't give up the gam joint. And she is in with a real shout here. 17 15 in favour of Great Britain's Lauren Williams. Good spin from Williams there, headshot attempted, lands cleanly, Bagby went for the spin, and a big headshot there, Sarah. Yeah, a great headshot there, but a great attempt from Bagby as well, trying something new, trying the spin, trying to make anything happen to create options for her to score on Lauren. That got close with it, 2015 in favour of Williams, that big headshot there, goes for it again, well blocked, but it sneaks round the shoulder of Ruth Bagby, tries with a little jumping scissors on the inside as well. Bagby in trouble here, Williams in the ascendancy. It's going to be hard now for Bagby to pull this back. It's quite a few points now she's got to go, and she's rushing in. Another point there for Lauren. Well, Nadis Tavares saying fight, I don't think there's much need for that. 25-15, a high scoring battle here in the copper box. Change of stance from Bagby, can she get a change of fortune on the go here? It's been all about the Welsh wonder, Williams. Can she score again? Showing patience, but pops in the shot, Sarah. She's wearing her down now, another one there. This is where the fitness, this is where you need to be able to deal with, with Lauren's level of conditioning. And let's not forget Ruth Bagby, world champion. She was world champion in the first round, and the, sec the first half of this round, but the second half of this round has just been too much for amazing back leg. Yep, blast at home there, Lauren Williams. And Good response from Bagby. Sorry, someone who couldn't do a back leg a few years ago. She's well, learning she, all the time. She most certainly is. And she's wearing down Ruth Bagby. And what a response there as she retreats back to Paul Green. Absolutely perfect from Great Britain's Lauren Williams. 
And we talked about it before, Sarah, that ability to go from being in and around the medals to claiming the title. She wants to win this so much. She will not stop at 31 points. And you don't need me to tell you that. I think anyone watching this has never watched Taekwondo is not going to see Lauren Williams going back or stopping doing what she's been doing to get 31 points. And 31 very well earned points. Not just that little simple push kick, the big head shot. So Ruth Bagby, we know she's got quality. She's got that comeback ability. She's going to have to draw on it now. Third and potentially final round here in the penultimate final of day number one. The wide-eyed Williams taking in every word from Paul Green and a smile as well. Well, here we go. Eyes down, look in. Check Salah Sisi, as we said, Olympic champion, trying to give some encouragement. Ruth Bagby refusing the high five at the moment, just about there, reluctantly reaches for it, but it's the high scoring Williams. And of course, Sarah, a point gap possible. Yeah, just looking here, four more points for Lauren would be a 20 point gap, which means it would end soon as someone gets 20 points gap, it's the end of the match. Well, what a way that would be to finish. Lauren Williams tries to chip and charge forward. She gets the first of those, scores again. Can she find one more to make herself the Grand Prix champion? Lauren, Lauren Williams on the cusp. Ruth Bagby, world champion, vested and defeated. Wonderful shot there. That's a 20-point gap. They're going to run it through to the end of the third round. Spin from Bagby. 20-point gap. Reverse turning kick. Dex it there. Well, Paul Green asking for the same. The Gamjon given. 36-15. 21 to the good. Well, irrespective of whether it's a delay, it will not be denied. Williams on the front foot. Good shot from Bagby. She looks shook, but she's trying to fight on here. She, the, she's just too much. She can't deal with Lauren's level of... of just. She just does not stop. A well, good block there from Bagby. Saves her face, but can she save... This championship now, Lauren Williams very much in the ascendancy. Into the last minute here, the Grand Prix final in the Copper Box in London. And it's Lauren Williams with a wonderful punch there. Doesn't score, but gives Bagby plenty to think about. She is just unstoppable. <laughs> just, I'm in like awe of watching the fight now. Well, into the last 45 seconds, Lauren Williams of Great Britain against Ruth Bagby, world champion. It's the British fighter in blue, 36-19, trying to close the door on the ambitions of the Ivorian. And she's fought so well, finishes with a flourish, big push kick to the body. And Ruth Bagby, well, she's had a real difficult battle. And Williams not giving up, going right to the end. You mentioned her fitness, Sarah testament here with that headshot attempt I think Ruth Bagby just might want this to end now because it's just enough's enough well we're into the closing stages now, Lauren Williams turning on the style, steps forward with the back kick into the last 10 seconds, another headshot, well don't adjust your screens with a little bit of gymnastic capoeira there from Williams tumbles over but she's taken a tumble to the tactics of Bagby and she's beaten and battered her around the ring and it is going to be a fantastic win. Great Britain's Lauren Williams, Grand Prix champion in fine style. Forget the scoreboard. There's your champion. Williams victorious. And the British fans delighted. Wow. She was just absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever seen anyone win a match like that. On home soil, 20 points. 20 points against the current world champion. I'm just glad you're here, Sarah, because my mathematics is a rubbish. 43-23, a huge score. It's like it's like a basketball score, but with the slam dunk at the end there she's was Williams. Not even tired, and I don't she's think. just walking around. <laughs> I don't think she's tired. Out for a stroll around Stratford Way will be Lauren Williams and Paul Green delighted. The coach and the fighter combine again, and it is gold for the first time in the Grand Prix for Lauren Williams. And wonderful success to boot. Confirmation there, Bagby, a distant second. Williams, victorious and more than deserving of that title.
And for, you know, I feel quite gutter for Ruth Bagby, though, because that first round was a really, really good round, and I thought, yeah, this is going to be a very, very, you know, high-quality match from both players. But in the end, Lauren just wears people down and just does not stop. And I think, how long can you deal with that if you can't compete with it? And so, you know, fair play to Ruth Bagby in the first round. I was very, very impressed. I think you're right. You called it correct. You said she came out as the world champion in the yeah. first round, and, and Lauren Williams just beat it out of her. Yeah, I think you can't you can't necessarily say that Ruth Bagby didn't play as a as a world champion should, because she probably did. But Lauren was just too good, and she just, like you said, just just take took it away from her. She most certainly did, and she takes home the big prize here. And as we see some of the highlights, well, that will live long in the memory for Williams. And as Sarah Stevenson rightly said, top class from Bagby, but Williams is the winner.